So the coming of the light, a 150-year celebration, had its beginning uh, when uh, London Missionary Society uh, missionaries mm -hmm. uh, came from the island of um, mm -hmm. Lifu in New Caledonia, mm -hmm. um, along with uh, local uh, evangelists and leaders. And they sailed on the SS Surprise and landed on Kemos Beach on mm -hmm. the far side of Arab down mm -hmm. the island. And um, they anchored there. And there's um, even today when you fly into Arab, there's a, a wooden model of the surprise to mark that important site. Mm -hmm. During these um, festivities coming yeah. up, yes. there'll be a lot of island dance, I imagine. Oh, yes, um, absolutely. Feasting, absolutely. Um, and uh, they're going to be uh, different locations. Uh, there will be an event at Holy Trinity Church. Also, um, activities and festivities, the reenactment actually happening down at Combsley Park. And there will then on the fourth day be at um, St. John's Cathedral for the, um, for the whole uh, bit of reenactment there in terms of Christianity and how they then uh, had to, uh, what they had to do in terms of the process uh, uh, in a line, you know, uh, joining the church, if I can say that. Um, and I won't tell you about that because you would go and see what that piece is. I know that um, in Cairns and mm. in the islands, yeah. you know, these celebrations happen yeah. annually. Yes. Um, and they celebrate a time of change. But as yes. you said, mm. um, and people see that as moving from perhaps a tradition of warfare to something like a more yes. peaceful life. Yes. The mm. spirituality is embedded mm. in the yes. land, sea and sky. Yeah. And um, that was all there originally. So yeah. this is kind of overlaid in a way. Uh, the Christianity. Yes, yes. because um, um, the, the initial you know, reason, I guess, when they come to Saibai Island in particular, because there was that warfaring around the neighbouring tribes of uh, you know, PNG that used to come across. Yeah. And, uh, and we were always, uh, I guess, defending our uh, island. Yeah. And, um, and that was one of the reasons to stop the, um, the, the war, warring of... Um, between the two um, uh, um, islands on the mainland PNG and Saibai Island. Yeah. So, um, and those were the three islands along there, which is Boigu, Saibai and um, Duan, yeah. So, um, and when that happened, I guess, and, that the, and the outcome of that, as I was saying before earlier, that, um, you know, we con got converted to that church and uh, took on that faith was we um, decided it was about the future generations, you know, and we had to uh, stop and think about them, you know, and uh, yeah, it was, uh, you know, a, a really um, big change, you know, in terms of then other, you know, uh, agendas that came after that yeah. as Torres Strait Islanders in terms of legislation. But it's, yeah. um, it's also good to know that um, in parallel mm -hmm. with all these new changes and introduction, people yeah. still carried on their own um, uh, culture yes. in terms of yes. you know very rich dance and song absolutely storytelling absolutely. and now art yes know. yes so, you know looking across to uncle ken's piece here yes. this represents um that event um in that you can see uh landscape paintings of arab on there mm -hmm. um you can see the dari headdress which represents torres strait island people and is an important element on the flag mm -hmm. and uh warup uh the drums and um, typically of um, Torres Strait Island works, um, this is both sculptural, but also could be a working headdress. Um, there are pulleys that you can pull. So the uh, Walmo, the frigate bird catches a fish and the hands beat the drums and um, mm -hmm. there's all action in this piece. So yeah. it's um, an amazing example of um, Torres Strait art but particularly of work from Arab, that, yes. you know, that important yes. site. And Gail Marvo's work from yes. um, neighbouring Mare Island. Yes. Uh, Siga Passi behind. Oh, yes. Beautiful, beautiful oh, paintings of, um, of Mare. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a growing and very yeah. rich tradition, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's yeah. exactly right. And it's the thing about, you know, honouring our ancestors and, um, you know, uh, and their legacy that they've left us, which is to, to you know, strongly uh, 
I feel the main thing about Island Passing, you know, yeah. um, which is really important, very integral to our, uh, our communities across the Torres Strait. And uh, we continue to um, honour those relationships uh, as well with uh, PNG, you know, yeah. after all this time. And, uh, and, uh, and being from Saibai Island, I only recently went back there uh, to, for a children's play that we're promoting up there. Mm. Uh, Biwan Githalai, and, and that's the first time I've actually walked on our land, you know, our sea country, and then being told, you know, where you're standing right now, this is your land, and I'm like, yeah. oh, wow. It was very overwhelming, and then I straight away thought back to my um, grandfather, Bamiga, you know, yeah. and uh, it was very, uh, yeah. you know, uh, overwhelming, but also so very high. emotional uh, yeah. that I was actually walking in their footsteps, you know. Yeah, and, it's and, just they're, kind of like and they're known for their dynamic dance performances. Oh, absolutely! Aren't they? Yeah. Oh, yes. So yeah. innovative and yes, um, yes. Yeah. And, and in terms of the dancing, and just recently, I was at the um, Cooktown uh, Expo uh, 2021, and we had a dance group from uh, Bamiga oh. came down yeah. Gabu Marukai, and they were performing. They actually opened the show um, because of uh, they won the dance right competition in 2020. And it was really exciting for uh, us that, um, you know, uh, everyone to see uh, that our culture is still very strong. Yeah. Our stories are being retold through song and dance and, yeah. and through artwork. These are histories that um, are untold previously. Yes. Or very yes. little known. Yes. Not, certainly not taught in the schools. That's exactly right. But they're real right. histories and yes. about real people. Yes. And um, it's amazing what we're able to do um, through art. Yes. And, you know, through our institutions as well. Absolutely. And yeah. I just love this institutions, all these institutions that are along here. And it's amazing vocation um, right here at South Bank. And um, just, a, just a, you know, privilege to how lucky we are. And we wander around and look at uh, all these institutions and what they uh, showcase in terms of our culture. So, yeah. Nancy, is there anything more you need to tell us about no, these celebrations just, coming uh, up? Okay, so uh, obviously uh, we have events happening across the cultural precinct. Um, over here at the Muse Queensland Museum, you must come and see it. That's just fantastic what's happened there with Zenaf Cares is the name of the exhibition. Island Futures is the name of the exhibition. Island Futures. And uh, where to from here? And we're looking at, it's a magnificent exhibition but um, also to come to Goma and look at our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island exhibitions. And, um, and it's great to have two cultures being showcased and to un for, for the education of the wider community and that two cultures are very much alive. Oh, well, we yeah. all look forward to that. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. today Thank and telling so much, us about Dave. coming yeah. of the light. Yes, absolutely. Yeah.